Hello girls and guys ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Robo Thoughts 02 Hero series all right guys we are on this interesting series of autonomous robots and vision intelligence on Jetson Nano guys we have reached lesson number 18 already so in the last couple of lessons i showed you how to install uh, uh, the, the tracking camera called T 265 from intel right i hope you were able to successfully install and followed by that i did show you how to install and configure lidar to take to detect the objects and you know give you some data points and stuff now guys the interesting aspect is how do we compile all this data which is coming into your jetson nano and start moving around with your bot into your robot and and make sure that your robot moves autonomously by just giving few commands remotely somewhere else you are sitting somewhere else in the world and your robot is sitting some other part of the world right how do we do that so it it's possible using a software called ross robotic operating system it's a pretty complex software i would say however if you follow my instructions step by step i will take you deep dive into the system and i will show you how to start playing around with the robot very soon right so uh, in lesson number 18 we are just going to install ross okay in jetson nano now guys there are there are many flavors of ross right every flavors you cannot install into jetson nano so the best compatible flavor for jetson nano is melodic a, a, a version call a release call melodic ross melodic it works just fantastic it's just amazing all right so guys let me open up my terminal and i will show you how to install robotic operating system on jetson nano and please do not upgrade your jetson nano's operating system all right you need to remain at Ubuntu 18.4 LTS that that's the base version which comes along with your jetpack if you upgrade to version 20 and 20.1 whichever the latest one then the, the compiling ros is little more tedious especially the melodic version it it's little complex and i'll show you at a later series uh, how to do about that uh, but for this series let us stick with Ubuntu 18.4 all right guys the default version which comes with your jetpack all right guys so there are two different commands and it's pretty lengthy and complex command which i picked it up from the ross uh, wiki uh, and couple of other source how to install in jetson nano so i you know it's little risky to type it down i would suggest you know copy and paste into the terminal though i hate to do that i wouldn't encourage you to copy paste the uh, the commands from anywhere else it's better to always type however some of these lengthy strings of command even if you miss certain a small syntax it triggers multiple errors so it's better for a safer site i copied these two into my terminal and i'll show it to you right now all right so let me move on to my jetson terminal and i am on my terminal there you go so this is the first command guys it's basically your the entire package you are going to copy from uh, you are going to take it from the ross uh, wiki uh, the the ross uh, org site and uh, install into your jetpack into your jetson nano package all right so i will leave these two commands below in the in this video description do follow that and for wait till the entire thing completes do not interrupt do not touch your keyboard let it just run all right guys All right, let's take a deep breath and say hello to Ross. I have put this. This is the first command. Let's hit enter. All right, this has accepted, so there is no error. Now we need to put a uh, <coughs> a package key. It's a it's called a apt key. Okay, it's like your software licensing. So I already copied it, and I am going to put it here. all uh, right so this is your key and i am going to put this key in the description below now press enter there you go it's executing i think this shouldn't take more than 5 6 minutes let's see let's just wait for a couple of seconds and see all right so 
this is a good sign guys so it says that it has grabbed processed one and imported one that means it's positive it's really a good news now let's move on to the next one right now what we need to do is uh, we need to run an update on this particular package it's very important we need to up not updating your uh, ubuntu os but updating this particular package the ros package which you just grabbed it sudo apt update all right and it is updating it shouldn't take more than few minutes it should happen in a ziffy again this will depend upon your network the speed all right it's taking some time let's give it a minute in the meantime uh, my lidar is still running i just let it run and okay all right 410 packages can be upgraded and the list okay anyways that we can ignore it all right guys so now the next command uh, which i'm going to show you that will install all the software the tools the algorithms within ROS. there are tons of algorithms inbuilt algorithms which comes along with the ROS package okay and the robot uh, simulators basically for ROS. Uh, this also includes uh, rqt and uh, rviz which is basically to visualize where your bot is moving and kind of thing all those packages are inbuilt and installed and some of some few other useful robotics packages right so that's what we are going to install now so let me show you the command this is not a copy paste this is going to be we need to type it out sudo space apt space install ros minus melodic m e l o d i c melodic melodic space uh, sorry melodic minus desktop desktop guys if you get into ross wiki uh, you know there are millions and millions of information and i know the challenges you really get lost into the ocean what i am showing you is a little shortcut method method to straight away jump into the system and start playing around all right guys now let me hit enter there you go it's building the package and yes i want it last for yes or no you need to click a yes why and there you go Thirty, thirty-five percent. All right, guys. I am going to pause this video because this is going to take at least fifteen, twenty minutes. Let me see. I think it's running pretty quick. It's almost seventy percent done, eighty percent. Yeah, I think it's pretty fast. So let it run. Let it run. Maybe we can just wait instead of holding. all right it's almost 97 98 and we are about to finish extracting all right that's gonna happen in few seconds and now it's running pre-configuration packages all right this has extracted the entire package and now it's installing one by one all right guys i'm going to pause this video and i'm going to be soon guys do not please let it run let it run do not touch anything do not touch your keyboard make sure that you are on a very good network okay it's it's connected and it's absolutely up and running so you may take a break and come back after about 10 minutes i think it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes all right guys i'll be back soon all right guys this went through pretty smooth and i hope we are in a good position now we need to run a ros dep command all right so this is basically to validate s u d o r o s d e p i n i t all right command not found that is fine you can just ignore it you can just try it again yeah you can just ignore it uh, now what we need to do guys we need to just update uh, the the ROS dep update packages again right ROS DEP run and update 
again this says the command not found which is okay sometimes it happens let me just try again let's try once again that's fine okay now you may uh, see yeah it's possible to see these errors which is fine guys do not get panic nothing to worry i'll show you there are some couple of tricks to come out of this let's try to run this again ros dep update not found that is fine no issues now uh, we need to check the environment variables for ros so how do we do that let me show you e c h o echo space and then a double quote s o u r c e source space forward slash option o p t uh, forward slash ros forward slash melodic m e l o d i c melodic forward slash setup dot bash setup dot bash and then close with double quote and then these two arrow strings and then a squiggly and then forward slash dot b a s h r c okay all right good it has taken up now let's see source s o u r c e source space squiggly forward slash dot b a s h r c even this is taken up now what we need to do let's check uh, the ros version what kind of what version we install we install melodic now how to cross verify whether it's installed successfully or not okay now this is the command r o s v e r version ros version space minus d all right boom there you go guys successful so it says melody fantastic so do not get panic with the errors which you just saw so not to worry about that so guys congratulations you have installed ros melodic on your jetson nano all right it's pretty successful uh, you got to be really patient now all right uh, guys now don't do anything just leave it as it is right you you just have to reboot it and uh, make sure that you are connected to your lidar and your t265 is connected all right uh, and i'm going to come back to you soon how to start visualizing this data into in your ros in robot operating system all right it's going to get really really interesting and little complex and little confusing of course you will enjoy i am going to start from the scratch from the basics and do not worry guys i am not going to walk you through the entire ros wiki that's a ocean that's a you know very advanced level ocean i want you guys to get into building autonomous robot and start giving the commands and make it work right in a ziffy that's what is going to happen in this series all right guys do give me a thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe to this channel i am going to come back to you soon until then see you bye bye